night, raging riots in Papua New Guinea, triggering a 14-day state of emergency. Angry protesters spilling into the streets of the nation's capital, Port Mosby, looting buildings and laying waste to businesses. Over a dozen stores have been set on fire. Prime Minister James Marape swiftly addressing the disorder, bringing in armed forces to contain the masses. We have uh, over a thousand uh, men from Defense Force ready and standby to come in and work under state emergency laws. The spark for these riots igniting after an unexpected pay cut for public servants, including police and defense officers. But the government says this all boils down to a simple computer glitch, which they have promised to fix. We've suspended finance secretary, we've suspended treasury secretary. The chaos first started as peaceful demonstrations led by the affected public servants, but has evolved into protests over wider issues facing the most populous nation in the Southwest Pacific. Where nearly 40% of citizens live below the poverty line and the cost of living is rapidly increasing. Despite its economic turmoil, Papua New Guinea is a strategic partner for the United States. Secretary of State Antony Blinken visiting the island nation last spring to sign a defense deal as the U.S. and its allies look to limit China's influence in the region. But for the nation's 10 million people, the turmoil playing out in front of them right now poses a much more urgent threat. In 48 years of independence, I can't recall in my lifetime seeing this level of devastation in, in a single day event. It's just sensitive. With frustration reaching a boiling point, Morape promises accountability. I encourage all our citizens to step up today and give respect to your country one more time. We look at, at how we would bring responsible people to face a full arm of law. Tom, the U.S. Embassy in Papua New Guinea says demonstrations have ended for now, but discontent still roots itself deep in a country plagued with economic woes. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.